Hey, welcome to the Oddstar channel. I'm Glenn, and on today's fun project, I'm working on this two-stroke uh, weed whacker or edger, whatever you want to call it. It's leaf blowers. All these little two-stroke engines all use this little type of carburetor, and they've got a similar type of fuel tank. This is a spare one I have. Anyhow, today I want to show you a little trick or a little tip when you need to replace these fuel lines. So one's a supply and one's a return. And what happens is with the alcohol and the gasoline, they eventually, well, they either get soft and mushy and break or they just get hard, brittle and crumble. So it really affects the, um, the material. So some people think you need to replace the entire, you know, you gotta buy the part, the entire tank with the filter in it. There is a filter down in here. I'm gonna show you how you don't need that. You can buy the fuel hose online. I'll leave links to all that stuff. But I do want to show you a tip because a lot of times, even if you go down to like Depot or Lowe's and you buy new fuel line, the diameter is going to be bigger than the hole that's there. So let me show you what I do. So what I have here, here's the Craftsman uh, Weed Whacker. It was here for a new pull cord. So the pull cord was snapped. I had to take this all apart to get to it and uh, to repair it. And when I went to go ahead and test everything, firing it up, I noticed that these hoses, let's see if you can get these here on film, these hoses were all cracked and brittle right here where they connected to the back of the carburetor. Now this top connector right here, I guess you could call it inlet, is where your plunger or your bulb is, your prime bulb, you can hear that? Well, that's the, um, that's the one that does not have the filter on the end, and I'll explain that in just a second. Anyway, these are real shot. Look, they just snap, and it, you know, they shouldn't be snapping like that. That's just junk. Like I say, they, you know, dry rotted, whatever you want to call it, they're shot. Both of them were. And here's the replacement hose. You can get this stuff online. I buy it like four foot, six foot at a time. I find no matter what I buy, it usually lasts meh, maybe two years. So if I'm lucky. But um, anyway, they come in different diameters. So this is, I think, like the eighth inch. This is the three sixteenths in here that I had for the return. Now, my point is, you can use either one. I have used three sixteenths for the supply, three sixteenths for the return. I don't really know if it matters. But here's the issue, or here's the, the deal. <laughs> this smaller stuff, this thinner diameter, there's a hole here, okay? So there's two holes in the tank. And right now, even having the smallest fuel line that I have that's not going to go in there so what I do is I drain the tank that's simple enough empty your gas empty your fuel out and then I take a drill bit any type of drill bit will work you know that's a steel bit here and around the same diameter size so here's the shank and all I do is and I usually do these by hand if you have a drill this plastic's kind of soft but all I do is twist it and as I twist I kind of go slow and the reason I do it this way, I don't, you guys probably can't see, there you go, um, is you can see these plastic bits are starting to come out. So I'm preventing them from falling in. Otherwise, you know, you just got to clear the tank or clean the tank out. So right there, I've opened the hole up just a little bit. I mean, I didn't take out much material. You probably couldn't even barely see it on camera. And then what I'll do is take my hose and feed it right through there. So what we got here is this hole is still a little bit shy, a little bit smaller diameter. I'll go up the next size. Let me grab that bit. It's this one here. Get this bit here and go ahead and open that up. I'm, I'm kind of pulling out as I'm twisting in. That way these chunks are falling out just to save me a step. So that's opened up more than it was before. And now I'll have to set it down on the bench, but I can take my fuel line and just start feeding it in there. Oh, I just get, did it right there. So that just barely snugly fits through there. And what I'll do is feed enough through here. Let me zoom you out to the trick. Here's the trick. I take a pair of these little needle nose pliers and you got to go in there and grab that sucker. So sometimes it could be a little tricky. Just make sure you have enough slack here hanging out. And let me grab it and I'll show you what I mean. There it is. I got it. Okay, so we have it right here. 
Let me grab on to that. Now what we do is take our fuel filter, which is one of these guys. Now if this thing's real nasty, replace it. They're not much money. And I'll put a little, I, I gotta grab it, a little bit of silicone grease on the end. And I'll feed this on here just because the, the diameter is smaller. Well, maybe I can get it. Hold on. It's going. I'm try to do it your point of view, your perspective, so you guys can see this. There we go. It's starting to go on there. I might need a little lube. Nope. We got it. Make sure it's all the way on. I'm twisting and pulling on it. So there it is there. So you can see that, hopefully. And then what you do is drop it back into the tank and kind of look at it. I can see it down through here. Oh, I'm off screen. Down in here, I can see it's down in the bottom. So we have plenty of slack here. So we're coming up. We have our two lines. There's two screws here. Put this right on there like that. Get our two screws or bolts, whatever you want to call them. snugged up two, two, two T25 screws I'm going to use the gas that's in here mixed gas of course because on the last leaf blower uh, that I took apart which was yesterday this is what happens when you don't put oil in your fuel with a two-stroke engine uh, not sure if you can see it but it's all scarred up trash not gonna work so let's put this in here That's enough. Put the cap on. So now that this is trimmed, I'll give you a close up. So the hose that has the filter will go down here at the bottom. We just push that on. And then our return, I guess you could call it, the part that just has the little stubby at the end, goes on the top by the primer bulb. That's this part here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then what we'll do is we'll just prime it. So I'm seeing fuel get sucked up now. And I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but the bulb is filling with fuel and I can see it flowing through both. So that's good and it's time to go fire it up. Okay, so the carbs prime, turn this on, put this to start, pull it a couple times and we'll see if she fires up. So I hope that quick tip helped you out. Just make sure you get the supply and the return lines correctly. Take a picture, might help remind you what went where. Make things a little easier. Make sure you got plenty of hose. <laughs> That's what she said. I cracked myself up. Anyway, thanks for stopping in. Check out some of my other videos. Subscribe if you like. Subscribe, yeah, subscribe. And uh, other than that, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.